Welcome to the She Is Podcast, where we are encouraging and equipping women to be confident in God's promises. I'm Jamie. I'm Sherry. I'm Nicole. We are women in different ages and stages of life. We are active in ministry and are here to have a Bible-based conversation about our identity in Christ. So get ready to be encouraged and equipped as we share with you today. Welcome back. We are now in the stages of part three of She Is Unrelenting. And so uh, today we would just like to encourage you in this word. And we just really pray that this little series has been beneficial and um, has really um, helped you to be okay with who you are and truly be unrelenting, uh, which means to not yield in strength, severity, or determination. You are unyielding. So part three. We're on the bike. The music's going. <laughs> we're, we're not praising God. We can't be. And if we mm-hmm. are, what music are we praising to? <laughs> right. I mean, it's just another thing on the checklist. Right. It is. It's yeah. a chore. It's mm-hmm. not. It's not coming from a place of rest. Becomes one of the little balls that you juggle. Right. Mm-hmm. And I don't think he's talking about going to bed at night and sleeping for four, no. maybe five hours, if we're lucky. That's what I was going to ask. Is like in a practical way, how mm-hmm. do you do that? Mm-hmm. Like that's a give us that's a good question. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's another one I'm not very good at either. Well, you, self-care and you rest. are in the season of little rest <laughs> toddlers, because you yeah. have two toddlers <laughs> that are very yes. busy. Yes. So you're, you're in that so season. So I'm in a season. Okay. You're in a season. Right. So we're in a season. Been like that yes. forever. It, it people tell me that, and then I'm like, when? Are you sure? <laughs> no, it does get better. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And I love my kids. They're amazing. And I love getting to see their personalities coming out yeah. and yeah. the crazy. It's just fun. But sometimes I'm like, go to bed. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> mm-hmm. It it's, is. It's exhausting. So. And so, good question. Where do you find your rest? And mm-hmm. I think, like we had talked about earlier, it depends on what season you're in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right now, your rest might be. I got to lay my head on my pillow for a few hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, and I, I didn't really get to finish this earlier. It didn't come to mind until now. But um, when Nicole was asking about me staying at home and now mm-hmm. I'm back at work and all that. Mm-hmm. And um, I I mentioned how much I love being home. I still love being home very much. Mm-hmm. And I actually had a season where I was in between jobs and was toying with the idea of, just staying at home again Mm -hmm. and um and having some you know personal business to you know help help bring some of that income back and I realized that I'm actually really good at doing nothing at home. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm with you. Like, I'm so good at that. that. I am yeah, so good at it. Like, I am, I, it, when I go to work, I am just like, my workspace is clear and I'm organized yep. and yep. I'm always moving and, you know, just mm-hmm. getting stuff done. Mm-hmm. I come home and it's like a completely different Jamie. I, like, <laughs> I'm with you. Like, yeah, yeah the, the uh-huh. gears change and I'm just like, I'm home. This, and so mm-hmm. for me, that is my place of rest. That's my refuge yeah. is is well, my home. Good. Mm-hmm. But I can't stay there all the time. And so I decided, mm-hmm. you know, the stay at home thing was good when I had kids to keep me busy. But when they're <laughs> all in school, I'm like, I just want to take naps and knit, you know. <laughs> right. I'm exactly. really good at that. <laughs> so you asked me earlier if I did okay, you know, because with the daughter and the dishes thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So last week I was on vacation. <laughs> I I could so easily be a recluse and just stay home and <laughs> I, I don't need people. I yeah. you know? Me I just too. So <laughs> I I Introvert love sitting here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <That's another hashtag>. <laughs> <Good. laughs> I think that one's probably oh, probably. Yeah, yeah, it's probably, probably you know. yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm really good at sitting in my place on my couch. Yeah. I have the TV on, but I'm really not watching it. It's just there for sound Mm -hmm. because then I'm playing a game on my phone. I'm doing my embroidery. I might read a book. Um, Dishes are still in the sink. (laughs) (laughs) You did recover. (laughs) But here's the problem. Now I look at them and go, eh, they'll sit another day. (laughs) You know, I'll, I'll do them tomorrow morning. It's... It's tonight's dishes. They're good. I, I rinsed them good, so there's no food on them. They just need to go in the dishwasher. 
Mm. But the problem is, I'm too lazy to put them in the dishwasher. They're right there in the sink, <laughs> already rinsed. Nope, I just go back out and sit on just the couch. It's so daunting, though, right? <laughs> right. I the same way. So <laughs> I, I more than conquered that one. Because now I'm just like, eh, what's a couple dishes? Right. But so I don't funny. have anybody at home. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. It's just me and my husband. So there's not a lot of dishes, so here's my... <laughs> so it's okay to go two days. I've rinsed them. There's yes. no food on them. And they're and what, it's only plates. two plates. Yeah. Nice. And there's more in the cupboard. <laughs> right. Well, Paper then, plates. That's what those are for. So, <laughs> right. So that's, that's what you what should I've do done. on your next vacation yes. is just use paper plates. Right. I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Oh, so, surprise uh, twist. I, 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 but if you ask, I do. So, so here's a secret. There's always paper plates, paper bowls, and plastic silverware in my house. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nice. There is only two of us. Right. And if I cook a meal that actually I cook, and it's not just <laughs> throw in the microwave. You can't cook in paper. <laughs> right. But I have no AC. That's my excuse. It's hot to cook. Oh, yeah. And then you use, yes, you only can't. So I always have an excuse. But am I resting? No. I'm just <laughs> vegging out on the couch. <laughs> it's just being lazy. <laughs> but then I, I make it sound okay. Well, I pulled out my Bible and I read a couple of verses. Is that rest? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Was I thinking of other things? Was I distracted? Hmm. So... I thought about that a lot this last week. Am I resting? Am I resting in the Lord? Because there's a difference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I just being lazy? Yeah, I was just being lazy. <laughs> and I'm really good at it. Yeah. Me too. I like those I'm, times for myself. <laughs> yes. You'll get some. Don't Someday. Worry. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll take some for you. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you want to take my kids for me? No. <laughs> That'll mess up my plan. <laughs> I'm busy that day. Yeah. Yeah. Doing, we don't even know what doing. Doing nothing. I'm busy that day. <laughs> Trust me. Trust yeah. me. I, I have plans. Um, I don't know what chill. they are yet, but I put them up. <laughs> yeah, right. So it. So I'm still juggling. Mm-hmm. Am I resting? I don't know. I just know. To be perfectly transparent, I'm just lazy. Mm-hmm. In my fifties, I went from being this. Everything's got its place, and it's got to be in its place. And I argued with my husband, and we fought about it all the time. And a sweet lady is like, so do you want a happy marriage, or do you want what you want the way you want it? Oh. Mm. Yeah, I, I, huh. I, I, I want a happy marriage. So, so I, can't be, I can't be critiquing him. Hmm. You know, put that away. Clean that up. You know, he's not my child. He's my husband. He's a grown adult. But yet, I think sometimes I treated him as though he was my child Mm -hmm. because I was getting on him about where he put his boots or his socks or whatever. And and I think sometimes we get caught up in that, too. Mm -hmm. And... But I fixed that, too, because okay. now I'm just lazy. I'm like, oh, I'll just step over his boots. I don't care. <laughs> and so uh, I need to find a healthy balance in that. My house needs to be clean. My I need to steward what the Lord's given yes. me. That's good. But not go so far that I'm a neat freak. Mm. And if I can find that balance, then when people pop in unexpected, I don't have to do the scramble and I go, oh, come on in. You know, because there's still a place to sit. Right. Yeah. There's still a floor to walk on. There's still, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not, there's no food in the sink. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's not gross. <laughs> you know? It's just lived in. It's lived <laughs> in. Because, again, we have to live our life. Mm-hmm. But what does that look like? And mine Living my life looks different than yours, and Mm -hmm. it looks different than mine did even just a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. It looks different. But but I think sometimes we get caught in this thing that, well, that's just how, like you were saying, Christian, that's just how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. That this is how it is. It's not going to change. I'm very rigid about that. 
and I've gotten I am I am so not rigid. <laughs> I'm very much over that. Yes. And I you know, I go to my kids' house and I and they're like, "Oh, mom. Oh, y- you know, and it's like, ah, pff, who cares?" Right. You you have to live in your life. You have children. It's going to be messy. <laughs> it's that it just is. You didn't get to the dishes? I understand. Right. Mm-hmm. How can I help you with that? Mm. You know, can yes. I do the dishes for you? Yes. You know, how about we just box up those dishes and I'll just buy you a case of paper plates. Right. <laughs> because right now you're not going to have time and don't feel guilty that you don't. Right. That's the thing. Like, I think I struggle with that most is feeling guilty. Mm-hmm. And I think I've been in that stage for a while being like, okay, well, I want to spend time with my kids, but there's a mountain of dishes and laundry yeah. and... There's food on the floor because they throw their orange peels on the floor. Right. Right. I know. Because they're you know. kids. Yeah. And so I think I, I'm i learning that mm-hmm. to not be so rigid. Right. But then I have the tendency to fall into the other, you know, because I'm so tired. I'm like, and yeah. then I procrastinate and then I get yeah. tr- in trouble with my work schedule. And like, I mean, I work from home, so I'm self-employed and it's really easy to put things off and put things off and then I'm in trouble. So, mm-hmm. Right. I don't know. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so what? I if, appreciate that. I mean, I don't. I I like structure. So like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, too, I I yes. like was like I will work until eight. So like, mm-hmm. would it be helpful to be like, you know, if you're at home yeah. and you got mm-hmm. stuff to do, mm-hmm. be like, okay, I'm I need to. I would love to get you know five hours of writing done today or yeah. whatever you need to yeah. do, mm-hmm. and kind of just book out that time understanding that there may be some you know distractions yeah. <laughs> right that's the goal right right, right? right. and yeah. then and then yeah. you set aside a block of time for this i'm gonna drop everything and just be with the kids yeah. mm-hmm. it's a good time they're not napping they're mm-hmm. not hungry we're just gonna play or yes. watch a movie yeah. or you know do puzzles or whatever mm-hmm. and then you know and then you set you know another block of time and this is where I'm making dinner and this is where I'm cleaning up and then and that and that's all I'm going to expect for myself today mm-hmm. yeah right. yeah mm-hmm. and that's and that's enough mm-hmm. yeah i don't absolutely. know absolutely <laughs> yeah i like it right oh, i love that cuz I think that's really hard sometimes to mm-hmm. figure out. Like, well, and every day is going to look different too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. you know, right. to have that plan ahead it's of time true. and. <laughs> but I think sometimes what you're describing is overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We get overwhelmed, and then all of that goes out the window because, for me, just speaking for me, once it becomes overwhelming, I don't even know where to begin. So I just don't. Yeah. Yes. But. If I could, you know, we were talking about juggling and laying all that down. So what happens if you lay all that down and you put in that plan, Jamie, that it's, all right, I see these. Mm -hmm. I have this ball right here that's family. I have this ball right here that is doing the dishes. I have this ball right here. So now it's, they're all laying out there, but what if we organize them in priority with a time schedule? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not make it so rigid so that we're not setting ourselves up for yeah. failure. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. expect, you know, if you've got toddlers at home, yeah. you're going <laughs> to expect that they're going to need to go to the bathroom and have a snack and have, you know, some interaction yeah. because, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're little. And that's, right. it's, it's expected. Yes. And, yeah. you know, it would be silly to not expect that. Um, but to know that you can, yeah, prioritize in mm-hmm. a way that you know later on they're going to have your undivided attention. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes that can't happen. But you, you basically, if you work it out ahead of time and, and mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. you know, at the beginning of the day, kind of an idea of what you'd like to see. And make mm-hmm. sure you do have that special, you know, time carved out that is just yes. for them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then when you get to the end of the day, you can look back on it and kind of see how it went mm-hmm. and tweak it, tweak so, yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah yes because that's going to start giving you peace because right. or me or whoever I think you know mm-hmm. I mean you have little ones that's that's going to be harder than me yeah. that has just <laughs> well, you've been through that stage already so I right. appreciate your wisdom in that because mm-hmm. yeah 
just don't take as long as it took me yeah. to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning here. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Learn quick. Cause, yes. right. Good plan. Because, oh, and we all know. I mean, Christina and I have grown children, and mm-hmm. we're grandma grandmas. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we love it. <laughs> love it. It's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> but I think what we learned was how to prioritize because there were times. Right now. Nicole, there are going to be times you're making a decision for toddlers that you're going, I hope I made the right decision that when they become a young adult, they make the right decision. Mm -hmm. Even at one, two, three, five, seven, eight years old. Because we're making life-changing decisions for young adults. You're growing young adults. Right now, they're... Two and four, or yeah. three yeah. and five, and two and four. Yeah. And <laughs> but but what I learned was I'm not looking at a two year old. I'm looking at a twenty two year old. And what do I want her to mm. know? Mm. Mm-hmm. That's really I cool. want her to know that she's loved. I mm-hmm. want her to know that she mattered. Mm-hmm. I want her to know that it's okay to make mistakes. Mm. Yeah. And she watches mom make a mistake. And how to fix that mistake and how not to beat myself up over it. Yeah. That's what I want her to know. The sad part is, is I didn't learn that then. Mm. So my yeah. daughter struggled. My son struggled because nobody told me that. Mm. Nobody told me that it's okay to make a mistake in front of your child and be okay with that. Mm. Nobody told me that it was okay to not be this perfect mom. Mm. Nobody told me it was okay to be at the store and my kid is screaming its head off and it's really okay. <laughs> and but you know people are looking at you and you feel embarrassed. Who cares? You yeah. know, there's there's so many things, right, Christina, mm-hmm. that as a grandma, we stand there with a screaming kid in the store and we're like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> but, exactly. but the mom standing there is going, She's oh, I'm five. so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm there. You know, and I'm like, man, I wish I could have been the grandma first, right? Mm-hmm. Because we're more laid back, we're more content. We're okay with it not being okay, and we're just like, yep, whatever. It'll work out just fine. Yes. Yeah. If I had had someone that could be that honest with me when I was a young mom, I think I would have made different choices. Mm -hmm. Would you have? I I agree. I I, I think I would have, too. Um, uh, I my mom was didn't have a I love my grandmother nothing yeah. against her but she didn't um, she had some some emotional issues and so that mm. carried to my mom and my mom did a good job for what she knew mm-hmm. and yeah. so as you grow I think mm-hmm. you know you, you do the best that you can with what you know and when yeah. you know better you do better yeah you know or you do different it might not be that one's better or worse than another one but it just this works better for me or this works better for you or Mm -hmm. or something like that and and Mm -hmm. so but I I do agree there's there's differences where you have to make that choice I'm going to stay home with my kids I'm going to go to work I'm Mm -hmm. going to I I did the juggle thing too when my kids were young it's like I I just want to be home with my kids I got a paper route Mm-hmm. So I delivered newspapers oh. and took my son and, you know, took the boys in the car with me for mm-hmm. a year. And then after a year, I was like, I really need some adult conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I love my kids, but mm-hmm. I needed that. And mm-hmm. so for me at that time, it was just yeah. to shift and change. And and then just, you know, as you're, just like you said, as they're growing up, I mean, you just, you hope that you're making the right choices and you pray that you're making the right choices. And then you just have to, just have to jump in and, and just do it and then mm-hmm. not I guess not worry about it. Um, mm-hmm. Not think twice. Ooh, did, was that the right decision or the wrong mm-hmm. decision? Or because mm-hmm. yeah. you can second guess yourself. I mean, yes. you can what if till the cows come home. Mm-hmm. You know, my my boys are in their twenties now with kids, and you know, watching them. And, and I don't know if boys think the same as girls do. Right, right, you know right. about how they're raising the, you know raising their kids, but uh, you just you just have to kind of do what works for you and. Mm-hmm. 
and be okay yeah, with that. And be okay yeah. with that. And, and that's mm-hmm. give yourself some grace, <laughs> you <laughs> yes. know. And, and I do. I agree with if if you can if you can make mistakes and in front of your kids and go, oh gosh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, or or let mm-hmm. them see that. I think that gives them a little bit more. It kind of takes the perfectionism mm-hmm. off of them where mm-hmm. they think mm-hmm. they have to perform mm-hmm. because I think a lot of times kids will associate love with performance and how mm-hmm. well I That's behave. Yep. I I yeah, I mean, how well I behave is how it rates how much mom mm-hmm. and dad love me or yep. something. And, yep. and, and that's not for, you know, for all kids or all families. But I think that as parents, if we can step back and yep. just kind of... Mm-hmm. Chill out. <laughs> yeah, just take a breath and, and yeah. let the dishes go or, mm-hmm. or in you know, mm-hmm. like Jamie was saying, block out the times. And then if it doesn't work yeah. that day, you kind of switch and go, okay, well, this worked better. Or, oh, mm-hmm. gosh, I, I planned that during nap time. That wasn't a really good idea, <laughs> you know, or, or something, you know, just just yeah. kind of going with the flow. That kind of goes with the verse that I had was um, Psalm 90, 12. Uh, so teach us to number our days that we may gain mm-hmm. a heart of wisdom and and the emphasis more being on the heart of wisdom and just what God would have us do. Because mm-hmm. I, if I will be more flexible with my day, rather than always being staunch, here's my list, I've got to do this. If I'm able to kind of go with the flow of God, changes it, mm-hmm. what's mm-hmm. most important? Are dishes most important that day? Uh, maybe not. They're never as important. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. They're never right. as important. You know, so, and then just, I think it helps with your juggling. Like mm-hmm. you said, it, it starts to, where you can kind of lay the balls down at, you know, from time to time and go, oh, I don't need this one so much today. And, and God kind of shows mm-hmm. you. And I think as, as Sherry and I are a little bit older, I mean, mm-hmm. that it kind of just, you start to go, gosh, you know, that ball is just really not important anymore at all. And you, mm-hmm, you can get it mm-hmm, off your mm-hmm. plate. And, and as you get a little older, another ball goes off. And, mm-hmm. you know, and your your focus just, I think, changes a little bit more. Yeah. You're young your and in a, you know, just your perspective <laughs> with toddlers and mm-hmm. trying to juggle work and home and, and all of that is yeah. is a little mm-hmm. bit a little bit different right now. So Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I love what you guys said about, you know, the importance of different things is they're only going to be little for yes. a short time and I don't want to miss that and I think no. just being transparent I think I've let that go to the wayside for the last mm. couple of months just it's busy All moms it's do. very busy yeah. so yeah. Yeah. this is a good reminder for me mm-hmm. so thank mm-hmm. you guys yeah. <laughs> well I I've said this a few times to different people over the last couple of weeks um about um their kids being little you know and everyone says you know it goes by so fast and yeah. when you're there you're like you're lying it does not <laughs> but you know it really does <laughs> how, how often do you do you pick your kids up and put them on your hip Callie a lot yeah. Caleb not so much anymore he's like 40 pounds now yeah. so that mm-hmm. that era is kind of coming right. to a close mm-hmm. it's sad exactly <laughs> like imagine right. me picking up my kids and picking up. <laughs> they are as gonna... big as <laughs> me <laughs> like, come here honey I need to pick you <laughs> up <laughs> and and seriously like and because yeah. my I have three that were all within two years of each other <laughs> yes um yes. yeah I <laughs> I just I tried to survive, you know, and make <laughs> sure that they survived, <laughs> and it was a blur. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm yeah. like, when was the last time I picked them up and put them on my hip? Mm. I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> you know that it it really it feels like forever yeah. when you're in it, mm-hmm. but it's a blur. <laughs> like yeah. so, yeah, soak it up, and yeah. and with that too, you know, the the hard things. Are temporary. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. But the good, the good times <laughs> are also temporary. I mean, right. they, they change. Right. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. it's never going to be the same, mm-hmm. which is a good thing mm-hmm. and a sad thing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yes. I know we we talked a lot about motherhood <clears throat> right now, but um, I wonder if just for a moment, because um, you're married, right? I yeah. Am. We're all married yes. here. So mm-hmm. where do spouses fit in God this mix. See, and that is one of the main reasons young couples get divorced. Mm-hmm. 
Because, you know, when you're first married. Kids, then spouse. Yeah. 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 A lot of times. That's yeah. what happens. Almost kids, every time. Like, so can you say yeah. out loud what you're saying with your hands oh, right sorry. now? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> She's like, you can't, they can't see that. Can't see. Um, so just, uh, I know years ago when my, when my kids were young, because kids take so much energy and so much time Mm -hmm. that a lot of times your spouse will fall to second place behind the kids and Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think we do it intentionally. Mm-hmm. It's just the kids are so demanding. They yep. need mm-hmm. yep. your time, your attention. You have to feed them and feed them and clean them. They just they just need everything. And then it's yeah. always mom. Very. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes they'll want dad, but when they're really little, yeah. mama, 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 and you know, mm-hmm. so you're just constantly mm-hmm. filling that that um, space with them. And then sometimes mm-hmm. your spouse will kind of be in the far distant you know you know back behind you're like oh Mm -hmm. I still love you yeah what's your name (laughs) you know and and not because you want to but that's just that's just the nature of having young kids yeah yeah Mm-hmm. yeah Yeah. well and and really intentional with your relationship absolutely to make that effort I mean it's a hundred percent I have to make a decision to love and to show show him that he's Where his place is, because Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're together, you're united with each other for the kids. And so if that kind of breaks or if that's, um, if that's not in a good place, then I think the kids will see that it's a little Mm -hmm. bit harder Mm -hmm. for them and Mm -hmm. yeah, Yeah. more to juggle. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, You Mm -hmm. know, and then you've got that dynamic, you know, on top of it. So Mm -hmm. I, I definitely think that that's a. Like you said, intentional. You really have yep. to be intentional. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take the time. Date nights. Those are wonderful. My, I read something not too long ago, actually, um, just to share this, that um, a young couple had gotten married, and that was very something that the husband had said. Every two weeks, date night. You know, every two months, mm-hmm. uh, we go away for a weekend. You find a way, if mm-hmm. you can, you know, somebody to watch the kids, just so that you can reconnect with each other and realize kind of where your relationship is and it's like mm-hmm. okay we can get back into this you know mm-hmm. now I've got you know I'm, I'm girded up again now I can yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> I can get back into it and so and I think that's really important and a yeah, lot of couples is. you know don't always do that and and if they can oh my gosh mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. do it do it do it thank you so much for joining us for part three of she is unrelenting by Refuge City Church. We pray that you have been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you are wanting to have a personal relationship with Jesus, please pray this with me. Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart to stay and help me to hear your voice and grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. We would like to hear from you. Email us at sheispodcast at refugecity.church. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast to hear more from us every week. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, until next time, you are unrelenting.